Last week, I posted a reaction to the Evil Dead Rise trailer. I just posted it in my Facebook group. And the reason that I made that video was simply to test my equipment, test my camera, test my lighting, test the microphone, and also test OBS, uh, which is a system that I'm still getting acclimated to that I'll be using for streaming. You know, allows to have you know, a box overlaid over whatever uh, content I'm engaged with uh, to I'm eventually intending to use that for uh, streaming while I'm editing my manuscripts and things like that. So you'll be able to see what's on my screen while I do that and streaming some video games and things like that. Well, the uh, <laughs> not too long after the Evil Dead reaction, I saw uh, one of my friends and an influencer who was... Uh, kind of going on a little bit of a rant about how inane react videos are especially the ones where the people don't even do anything they just stare at the screen and that's exactly what I did I didn't even talk about it afterwards I have no idea if that was related to the video that I put up I, I think only maybe a dozen people saw it but the thing is I did feel dissatisfied with putting kind of that low level content out there. Um, I mean, it's pretty pointless for anyone to watch, right? Uh, it's mostly, mostly probably should have just stayed on my hard drive, stayed on my disc. And um, here's, I wanna, I wanna come at this from a few different angles though. Um, first of all, I am really struggling lately. Uh, with my mental health when it comes to especially anxiety and uh, makes it very hard for me to show up for my life and to do the things that I want to do. So when I sat down to react to Evil Dead, I did actually in the original video talk, start to talk about how I felt about it afterwards, but I didn't have anything planned and it just felt like a bunch of drivel was coming out of my mouth and I felt self-conscious about it. So I just didn't make that public. And <laughs> as for me just looking at the screen without talking, I was going back and forth in my mind, like, how do how do I want to do this? Like, uh, you know, a lot of people, like when I see reacts, see, I, I do enjoy watching reacts sometimes. If there's something that's like culturally significant to me, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll watch how people are reacting to that on the internet. It's like sharing the experience with other people. It's kind of nerdy, but it's just sometimes I feel a little warm and fuzzy just seeing how other people are responding to things. And, and, and it's like, you know, I'm sure some people get what I'm saying. But, um, but a lot of people, uh, you know, they, they, they try to force themselves to say things during their reactions. And they just say stupid things. And I just... It's like, I don't know, I've never done this before. It's a test run, you know? And I'm not gonna be reacting to a lot of movie trailers. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, see, I didn't plan what I was gonna say right now either. Um, but I've gotten to a point where I am really tired of being sidelined on, on my own life and having all of these moving parts, or parts that should be moving in my life, or that I want to be moving, that just aren't, just stagnant. Everything's stalled out. Anxiety, not showing up, not speaking, voiceless. Uh, just not getting started, you know? So, I've just gotten sick of that. I've gotten really sick of it. So, I guess sometimes when I get really sick of things, that's when I find the resolve to to just start showing up, start experimenting, start playing around with things, and start using the tools that I have to create experiences for myself and other people that just don't exist if nobody shows up. And this applies 
to my writing. It applies to a lot of different things. I wanted to get involved with making videos at a higher level than I used to for a long time. And right now, it's not really ideal. Just moved into a new apartment. I don't have a good background set up. Uh, I didn't even get the, the angle that I wanted on the camera because I need a longer USB cable. But there are times in my life, a lot of times in my life, when that right there would have been like, okay, so I'm not going to do it then. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not even going to do the thing because my cable's not long enough, right? But, man, <laughs> I don't know. It's something I've struggled with a lot in my life. Just like giving up too easily. Man, I could really get, get down some rabbit holes about, about that. <laughs> Why not do that while we're on the subject? You know, childhood stuff that happened that ingrained the message in me that I am incompetent or that it's not even worth trying because I'm just going to screw it up and nobody's going to care about it. I'm not worth caring about. I'm not worth showing up for. Uh, why would I? Why would I write a book or make a video or make music? Because nobody's gonna give a shit, right? And you know, those messages got ingrained in me at a young age. Like nobody intentionally put them there. I just had some relationships in my life with various adults. I'm not even. I'm not even necessarily talking about parents, just people in power above me who, I mean, one way of putting it is they abused their power and I just became very small inside or I saw myself as small. I saw myself as worthless. And that's, it's hard to fight with, you know? And just get to a certain point in life though where you just gotta, gotta work with what you got. And even if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> There's only one way to know what you're doing. You got to figure it out. You got to learn. And you got to practice. And so I'm just showing up and learning and practicing. And we'll see what comes with things. You know, right now, my mind is like this cluster F of ideas. Disfragmented. Disfragmented. Just they're fragmented. They're fragmented ideas. Just things that are pretty cool, but like there's so many of them, and my <laughs> my ability to to like focus on one thing at a time is really shot right now. But I'm working on that because I'm realizing I can't just be all over the place like that and expect any of it to actually get done. So I just gotta like work on things. Of course, for me, um, the the project that I We'll be focusing on probably prioritizing more than other projects is my story on Kindle Vela, The Fern and the Rose. And just get back into some momentum with that. And then, you know, I can't work on it 24 7 though, so I can also start to edge into these other arenas. But I am going to have to simplify the crazy formula in my head because it's just like all over the place. All right. I'm done talking now. <laughs>